What a beautiful time and moment in time to celebrate a divine romance. Love in the making. These two go into new heights further, faster, because they know they're better together. Hand in hand, heart in heart. And from the start, it's been a while. They've been, like I said, developing, curating, creating true love. Where even Melissa is like, it has to be perfect. They deserve it. <laughs> you guys deserve each other. True perfection in front of one another. As the sun breaks through on this perfect morning, made for me and you, and it tells our story where we are. Whenever I talk about Stephanie and Carlos, I always explain that Stephanie is the executive sous chef and Carlos the executive chef at their clubs. I think we can all agree that they are the definition of a power couple. Carlos, I cannot be more excited to officially welcome you to our family and to call you my big brother. And Stephanie, I'm so happy that you have found your person and best friend to spend forever with. Knowing that helicopter proposal in New Heights, you even braved that. I was like, she did that? She's in love. And he's like, yeah, she is. That's why I took her above. And he's going to keep doing it, doing it, doing it well, hey. I'm honored that I get to be a part of, just like everyone here, the joy that you two dish out. <laughs> the love that you bring and prosperity that's awaiting you with that ring <laughs> and then we're all gonna go after it. <laughs> When you were born, you changed my world. You enriched my life. You enriched my life then, and you continue to do so every day. You are strong-willed, sweet, and loving. And you have the kindest heart. I'm so proud of you and all of your many accomplishments. Uh, you have chosen the perfect partner in life and now your husband. I want to thank you for loving my son. He's precious to me, and I've raised a man, Steph, that you're going to be so happy with. I wish you both a very long, long, happy, healthy, and prosperous life. It's like Sydney said, you're both a power couple. And as I said, I toast Carlos every single night, but I toast you now for having, you're going to be my daughter. And that's a good thing. You'll love me. <laughs> to wake up next to you. Remember that day. Stephanie, when you're mad, think about your boss. Oh, God. That's what I'm saying. They really never knew where paths may lead, but they are hand in hand, heart in heart going forward with courage, vigor, strength, knowing that they are each other's best friend and lover. Oh, honey, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful.
I commit my life to our partnership in marriage. I promise to comfort you. To encourage you in all walks of life. I promise to continue. To, what? to, express, to, express, my to express my thoughts. <laughs> no, I know it's hard for me to. <laughs> <laughs> they help us with everything. To express my thoughts. And emotions to you. And to listen to you in times of joy and sorrow. Stephanie, I love you. My closest friend. Carlos, I love you, and you are my closest friend. Deep inside, when we first met, had a feeling. So, Carlos, knowing all of these truths, do you take Stephanie to be your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to continue to love her, honor her, cherish her in sickness and in health, and forsake all others as long as you both shall live? Go ahead and tell her those two magical words. I do. And Stephanie, do you take Carlos to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to love him, honor him, cherish him in sickness and in health, and forsake all others as long as you both shall live? I do. Now I'm You've now affirmed before your family and friends your obvious love and devotion for one another. You've walked different paths, you're different individuals, yet this love has transcended all differences. May the years before you be rich with the traditions that have shaped you and the love that is around you, and may tonight be one to remember. It gives me such an honor by the power vested in me by this beautiful state of Arizona to pronounce you husband and wife, you may now kiss your beautiful bride. As I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Lechuga! I would like to wish both of you a lifetime of good health, happiness, and most of all, to wish both of you the love for each other that continues to grow with every day. And I love you both. You're the ballet of a starry night, with the wind. Thank you, friends and family, moms and dads, brothers, sisters, homies, all of you that have traveled, that have been here to support, to care for Carlos and Stephanie in their journey now in a new title, in a new light, husband and wife, knowing that it's absolutely right. One of our favorite movies that Carlos and I love, and there's a quote that the two characters have, and it, it ends with, may the wind always be at your back and the sun upon your face, and may the winds of destiny carry you both along to dance with the stars. So cheers. Carlos, you have all the characteristics a mother could wish for in a son-in-law or a son to me. And I am truly blessed um, that you have chosen uh, my daughter. And Stephanie, I'm truly blessed that you have chosen Carlos.
I welcome you to the family, your family, with my family. It's great. And I know you guys do great. So and I told Carlos, I'm, I'll meet you, I'll meet you in, in, in Paris. But but he says, I'm on my honeymoon, but that's okay, I'll, I'll meet you in Paris. <laughs> he said, no, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, God bless you guys. I love you. And, and I know you guys are going to miss you. And I'm here for you guys. Whenever you need anything, I'm here. God bless you. I've been waiting for this moment for the last 28 years. I'll leave you with three lasting words of wisdom. The first is from my dad, RGM, and that's, uh, I'll share it with my brother here. When we were kids and we had something challenging happen, we'd always come to him and he'd say, you need to adapt and overcome. That's a Marine thing from his background. But that applies to everyone in everyday life with challenges that they have. The second is my favorite expression, which is, it's what you learn after you think you know it all that matters. If you have teenagers out there, that's really where that comes into play. But it actually carries through, through with life. And finally, the last thing is from my favorite band in the world, and that is, love is not an easy thing. The only baggage you can bring is all that you can't leave behind.